Hey everybody, thanks for joining us again. If you're new to the channel, I'm Shannon Mayer, cover artist for Marvel, DC, Dynamite, and others. In today's tutorial, I want to talk about how to add a little extra skin shine to your Daz 3D characters. It's a nice way in some situations to add a little extra life to the figures, a little natural uh, moisture to the skin. So why don't we get started? Here's a close-up of before and after. Uh, it doesn't mean that one is better than the other. It depends on what you're aiming for in your scene. Uh, but I just wanted you to be able to see what the potential is. And you have the ability to choose how much of the, the shine, how much moisture you want to um, be showing on the skin. Uh, so let me show you uh, where you can begin with that. OK. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that our surface selection tool um, is active. Now, once we do that, we can choose different regions of the body. Uh, we'll have to do them one by one, uh, but there's only a handful, and it doesn't take all that long to replicate the process. Uh, so if we begin with starting with the body, I'm going to select this here. Um, we do want to make sure that we're in our Services tab. And you'll see that body is highlighted here. Um, now, uh, if we open the drop-down menu, let me zoom in here, uh, you'll see two items here. You'll see top coat and you'll see metallic flakes. Uh, I, I see top coat more commonly used, uh, metallic flakes. I just kind of found this on my own and really been enjoying the results that I've been getting with that. Uh, but we'll cover both today. I'm going to start with metallic flakes. So if I select this here, I'll zoom back out. Uh, you'll see that it's currently turned off. Um, you can find uh, differences with uh, depending on the figure that you're using, um, but I think in most instances you'll probably find that this isn't currently enabled. So we want to make sure to turn that on, and we're going to get a drop-down list of all these other options. Okay, so I'm going to get a close-up in our scene so we can better see it in real time. And I'm going to initiate a preview render here with NVIDIA iRay. Once that's going, we'll go back into settings. Okay, so over here in a drop-down list, we can see two things, metallic flakes weight. Let me zoom in here so you can see it. Metallic flakes weight and metallic flakes color. These are the only two that we're going to have to deal with today. Um, so let me zoom back out so we can see the results in real time. So this is currently for metallic flakes weight set to zero, zero. Uh, so I'm going to click on this here. And the, the re for results for this, it's, it's very subtle. Um, you don't need much. So I'm going to start with 0.1, and I'm going to hit Enter. And you can see that the skin suddenly has a lot more um, uh, shine and apparent moisture to the skin. Um, what I like about the metallic flakes is I've been getting like softer results with, uh, with the highlights. Um, we can also go to top coat uh, as well. And I've been getting a, a little bit more of a, a, a finer, high, you know, detailed uh, highlight, which might be what you're looking for. Um, now, I'm feeling that uh, point 0.1 is still slightly high, so I'm going to bring that down. I'm going to type in point 0.05, press Enter, uh, and it's a little bit more subtle, a little bit softer, and I'm really liking that. Um, now, what we can also do here is metallic flakes color um, set to white, if we want to add a little bit more color into the, the highlight, the reflectivity, we can do that. And I have a, a blue, you know, lighting and scene set up here, so it might be nice to incorporate a little bit of that. So I just click on that color. Um, you can select any color you want, uh, but I think I'm just going to choose one of these from the menu here. Uh, so we'll start with a nice rich blue. I'll type Enter. And you can see you get a little bit more of a tint to the skin there, uh, a little bit of a bluish purple. Um, and I kind of like that. So I'm going to leave that for now. Or let me, let me try this brighter green. No, I like I liked the deeper blue. Uh, so I'm going to go back to that. Um, now we can do the same thing, replicate what we just did, but for the, for the face. Um, so I'm going to click on that with the Surface Selection tool. 
it's going to highlight uh, head over here. And same thing, we go back to our drop down menu, navigate over to metallic flakes. And again, this is turned off. Um, now I'm going to initiate this and turn it on. Now, you may have noticed that some of these settings have already been modified. Uh, you'll find differences perhaps from figure to figure, um, but I'm just going to reset these back to, to zero and start from there. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to click on this and make sure this is set to zero. I also noticed that it has a, uh, a mask in here, so I'm going to click on this arrow here and navigate over to none, so we turn that off. And I'm also gonna reset this color here uh, back to white to begin with, uh, just so we're starting off the same as we did for the body. Um, now, what we did for the body was, I believe it was 0 0.05 is uh, the metallic flakes weight that we had. So we can start there, 0 0.05, and I'm gonna hit enter. Uh, and we can immediately see a strong shine uh, on the face. Um, let me click off here so we can see that. And it's looking perhaps a little bit strong for me. Um, so with the surface selection, I'm just going to re-highlight that. And um, oops, so I will have to re-navigate back over. Um, and I think I'm going to try dropping that down a little bit. So from 0.05 to 0.03, and press enter. Um, and right out of the gate, that's looking not too bad to me. Um, now, metallic flakes color uh, for the body, we also did choose this color here. So I'm going to do the same thing for the face. And we're getting a nice uh, bluish purple tint there. Um, and that's looking actually pretty good to me. I'm, I'm really happy with the results. OK, as promised, we're going to take a, a really quick look at how to, do, how to do this with top coat as well. Um, I've reset the figure back to default skin. Let me get an iRay preview so we can see this in real time. So same thing, surface selection tool. Uh, we'll just do the portrait for now. Um, so surfaces uh, tab is active. You'll see that head is highlighted. So drop down list here. And if you recall from before, we found the metallic flakes here. Top coat is just above it there. OK, so I'm going to select top coat. Um, and you'll see that it's already um, active. Uh, you'll probably find that this is typically the case. Um, so all we have to do is look for, I'll zoom in for you, uh, top coat roughness. Uh, currently, it is set to 0.85. I'm going to zoom back out. Uh, and we're going to start with bringing that down to 0. And you can see right away, uh, we got some very strong highlights in the scene. Um, we can increase that and make that as subtle as, as we like. Uh, it's all up to you and what you're looking for. Um, I used the metallic flakes because I liked that it was getting a little bit of a softer result for what I was aiming for. Uh, but top coat certainly uh, is an excellent option to go with as well. Thank you again for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And also, leave your thoughts in the comments. I always do my best to get back to everybody, and I'll really look forward to hearing what you have to say. Until next time, thanks so much. Bye.